everybody, it's Jerry, and today I'm going to show you how to make gingerbread cookies. We're going to make some gingerbread people, and uh, we're going to use some royal icing, some aquafaba royal icing to ice them, and let's get started. So we're going to start off with one teaspoon of psyllium husk and two tablespoons of water. Mix it together and just let it sit for a minute to thicken. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of vegan butter, quarter cup of dark sugar, quarter cup of molasses, and cream everything together until it's all nice and smooth and mixed well. And then we're gonna mix in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we can add our dry ingredients. So we're gonna add a half a cup of brown rice flour, a half a cup of millet flour, a half a cup of tapioca flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. And now our spices, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ginger, quarter teaspoon of allspice, and an eighth teaspoon of clove. Now we're ready to mix everything together. And just keep mixing until it comes together to form a nice soft dough. And now you can work it with your hands for just a minute, just to get it nice and smooth and soft. And then just chill it for about 30 minutes. Now we're gonna take half the dough at a time, roll it in some tapioca flour, and press it onto a baking sheet which is covered with parchment paper. Put a piece of wax paper on top and roll it out to about an eighth of an inch in thickness. And then peel the paper off and start cutting the shapes that you want to make. And these could be any shapes that you want, any size. So we're just going to cut the dough first and then take a knife and just remove all the excess dough. Put it back in the fridge. And then we're going to bake at 350 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes, depending on the size of the cookies. Once they're cool, we can make the frosting. So we're going to take a third of a cup of aquafaba and a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartare and mix it together. Now I use a hand mixer just because my electric mixer, my stand mixer doesn't get down low enough, but you can use either any mixer that can get all the way down to the bottom of the bowl. And you want to mix it until you have some nice peaks. And now I transfer to my stand mixer. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix that in. And then we're gonna add our sugar, just one tablespoon at a time. So we're gonna add two thirds to one cup total of powdered sugar, just depending on how thick you want your frosting to be. The thicker it is, the more sugar, the quicker it'll dry. And just keep adding slowly until you get to the consistency that you want. And now we're ready to pipe our frosting onto the cookies. So I'm just starting out with just white frosting. And 
And then we can take some of the leftover frosting and add food coloring, whatever colors we want. I'm doing red and green. And I'm just using it to make scarves and boots and buttons. But you can choose any design you want on the cookies. And just let them dry until they're hard and you're ready to eat them. Thanks everybody for watching and please like and subscribe and tune in next time for some more recipes. See you then.